So on Tuesday, some kind of cruise missile hit a village in what I believe is called Purse Widow, Poland. Unfortunately, there were two Polish casualties at a grain drying facility. The incident happened about seven kilometers from the Polish-Ukrainian border. Supposedly, this is an image of the crater. If this is correct, that is a big crater, probably caused by a Russian cruise missile, at least something with as large as a 400 kilogram warhead. So let's take a look at some of the cruise missiles that Russia may have used in this strike. The first would be the Caliber cruise missile. Uh, this cruise missile can be ship launched, air launched, or submarine launched, and that has a range of roughly 1,400 kilometers. Uh, another type of air launched cruise missile they might have used would be the KH-101. That has a range of uh, 3,000 kilometers, so that could have been launched well inside of Russia. And both of these weapons have warheads that are in excess of 400 kilograms. Now, some analysts on Twitter uh, have claimed that this was actually a Ukrainian S-300 air defense missile that maybe fell to earth as it was trying to intercept a Russian cruise missile, or maybe Ukraine was just doing some kind of false flag attack. Now, here's why this is unlikely. Any S-300 available is going to be protecting Liev. Now, yes, Perswodo, Poland is about 70 kilometers north of Liev, but any kind of radar is going to be facing east because the threat to Liev is coming from Crimea, it's coming from Russia, it's coming from this area here. This is where the missiles are going to come from. You don't want a surface-to-air missile at target in the east and have it end up 70 kilometers north. This isn't behind enemy lines. Missiles don't fly around in the air, turning around and making S-curves. Russia is entitled to their own propaganda and misinformation, but they're not entitled to their own physics. Now, it is absolutely 100% possible that a missile attack came from the north, from Belarus. Russia has fired missiles from Belarus before, and it's certainly possible that Ukraine had its radar pointed north, and it tried to perform an interception going north, which would have meant that Ukraine intercepted a Russian missile over Poland. And if that's the case, like Ricky Ricardo, Russia, you got some splaining to do. So I don't think this S-300 interception or false flag theory is all that valid, mainly because it first showed up on Russian Telegram and on 2chan. And that's how Russia seeds disinformation. It puts it out on these minor channels first, and then it filters up through Twitter where people who don't know anything about the military give it validity. Now, in the intelligence community, you always want to figure out what the bad guy wants to do. What is the end state? And then kind of work backwards from there, and you might get a reason as to why they're doing what they're doing. Doing. And here's what I think happened. What has Russia been going after a lot of recently? Power. I've been going after power stations, right? They want to keep Kiev in the dark and in the cold. So let's take a look at power plants and power lines in the area. So there are two power plants in the area. They're fairly close to the border and they're fairly close to Perswodo. So either one of these two power plants could have been a target. Now, I found a map of Poland's electrical grid, and as it just so happens, there is a line that connects Zamosht in Poland to Dobrovir in Ukraine. This line goes across countries. Now, I had a little bit of help with this, but it took me a couple of hours, and I was able to figure out the path of the transmission lines from the transmission towers. So you can trace that power line from Dobrovir all the way up to the border, and right over the border, you have your point of impact. Now, if we follow this transmission line all the way up and we don't turn left here, we eventually hit the point of impact. So here's what I think happened. I believe a cruise missile was trying to target this one specific transmission tower that's on the border between Poland and Ukraine. And for some reason, the missile just missed this particular transmission tower and it kept going until it fell into Poland. So what comes next? Look, I'm really good at finding transmission towers, not so good at geopolitics. I don't know Poland's next move, but I do know that Russia killed two innocent lives, two innocent Polish lives over this stupid, senseless war. And if Russia doesn't get their head right, and maybe stop what they're doing and leave Ukraine. In the words of Admiral Painter from The Hunt for Red October, 
this business will get out of control. It'll get out of control and we'll be lucky to live through it. Thank you for watching. Nazdrovye. Yo, 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 what up? It's me, MCI TV. You like Ryan Macbeth? We got crazy Ryan Macbeth shirts, yo. Hi, Mars. Patriot. Toatas. That's like a son to me. We even have Spall Street Bets and whatever the heck this is. So come on down to Bunker Branding or I'll get Team Yankee on you.